doing today? I hope we're doing well. And if we're not, then I pray that you um, are feeling better or doing better. Yeah. I have River on today because she is in, she's in this adorable little um, cute pink overalls and little pink and white socks and a little flowery um, t-shirt. But we are, um, of course, this week's live is uh, pajamas. <laughs> so I've been busy in the nursery trying to get everybody in a pair of pajamas. I'm My goal is to have everybody in a pair, although a few of them don't really want to change into pajamas. So if we get to the live on Friday and you see a few not in pajamas, it's because they protested and would not, they didn't want to be in pajamas. So um, <laughs> River though, she said, mama, I want pajamas. So, um, and then that, um, <laughs> I told you guys before, I don't look at my clothing before I pick my live themes. I just think of something and that's what I go with. Um, and for some reason I thought I had more pajamas than what I have. And I have a good lot of pajamas, but I also have a good lot of babies. So I think I have enough pajamas for everybody. I'm not positive. So if a couple doesn't want to wear pajamas, I will probably be okay with that. Um, I would just try to see if they'll wear something maybe comfy and cozy, you know, something along that lines. And that's if for some reason you don't have pajamas either, but you have something cozy and comfy to put on your baby, that will count as their pajamas for our pajama live. Um, but anyway, so I do have some pajamas. I laid out all the pajamas I had and I have got a few of them changed already. Meadow has been changed. Kalani has been changed. Um, Brooklyn um Kyson my newest little one um Bo and Luca are in their fox pajama still <sighs> okay I have a confession you guys I've confessed this before I think they're so sometimes I get really stuck on a baby in an outfit and I think the the twin boys look so cute in their little fox pajamas and I'm just gonna leave them on um and then I'll change them next week <laughs> One more, well, I'm going to finish out the week in them, okay? Because they look so cute in them. Um, and, and Ava, Ava has on pajamas. But, um, so I laid all the pajamas out and I've been letting everybody pick what they want to wear. Um, and um, River wants to wear these little unicorn pajamas. They're white pajamas. They got unicorns on the feet. They got unicorns all over them. They're super cute. Um, Meadow actually came home in these. And I asked Meadow if she wanted to wear them, and she said no. <laughs> she wanted to wear the, she has a pair of fox pajamas on, and they're orange, or like a peachy orange. They got little pink polka dots and a pink fox and pink fox feet. Um, that's what she wanted to wear. So I let her wear that. So since she didn't want to wear this, um, River said she wanted to wear it, and I said, of course you can, because we, we share around here. Um, so... Let's go ahead and here, of course, River, she has her Sebastian. Um, she keeps begging me to change her name to Ariel <laughs> because she is the Little Mermaid. She doesn't want a Little Mermaid doll. Um, I recently got Millie a Little Mermaid, like toddler doll. And um, I wanna get, Millie wants both, the uh, live action version and the cartoon version. And we got the cartoon version and um, Trina over at Bougie Life bougie doll life oh no I can't remember your name sweetie you know who I mean um she said they have them at Walmart so I'm gonna have to go over there and look for Millie's um little African-American um Ariel that she wants but River I asked River if she wanted some because she loves Little Mermaid too and she said no she doesn't she wants Sebastian and she wants Flounder um, I wish I knew, I wish I would have, I, I wish I knew I, that she wanted flounder at Disney though, because I could have got her a flounder, but I didn't think about it. So that's okay. We'll find him. But for now she has her, she still has her little crab she calls Sebastian. And, um, she wants a Sebastian and a flounder. And she tells me, cause you know why? Should we tell them River? Yeah. Cause she is the little mermaid guys. She doesn't want a doll of herself. She wants her friends. Cause she said, I am the Little Mermaid. I want Mommy to change my name to Ariel, but she won't. But that's okay. Sometimes they pretend to be Ariel. Yeah. Yes. 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 We love our little River Rain. We don't want to change her name. No. Not really. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and change her, guys. <clears throat> and while I'm doing that, let's get you down here so you can see the beautiful girl. Um, while I am changing her, I am going to do Anne over at Dolls in the Cradle. She has a tag that I think is fun. I wrote the questions down on my handy dandy notepad paper. And um, so I'm gonna answer those. It's a, the tag was, um, I think she casually named it about me. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump into those. The first thing is to say something nice about yourself. Um, um, I am nice. <laughs> Is that a cop out? <laughs> I'm caring. How about that? I'm caring and I'm, I, I feel like I'm caring and compassionate. And I feel like um, I am, yeah, I'll just go with caring and compassionate. I am caring and compassionate. How about that? Okay, so question number two. Now this, this one was a fun one, okay? And this one I did think about for just a minute because I really liked um, her answer with, um, well, you need to go to her channel to find out her answer. I'm not gonna give it away, but I liked her answer. And there's a couple other ladies who have answered and I like their answers too. Um, but I had, I wanted to think one, think of something that, you know, would be my answer, my true answer. And so the question is, okay, the question is, if you had 30 minutes, so this has to be done in 30 minutes, okay, to spend $5,000 in one brick and mortar store, what store would it be? So it has to be a store you go to and buy things in. So I thought real hard about this one. And my answer is Ikea, because I need new furniture. <laughs> I would like some new living room furniture at some point in time. And so my thought is there right now. And I could definitely spend $5,000 in 30 minutes in, a, in Ikea. So that is my answer for that, Ikea, because I need some more furniture and also they have really cute baby furniture. So um, yeah, I could spend $5,000 super quick. Okay, question number three. Name something that gets on your last nerve. <laughs> okay, so something that gets on my last nerve. Okay, um, so I'm a mom and um, <laughs> it gets on my last nerve when I've washed all the dishes, okay? Washed all the dishes, all the dishes in the house are clean. So I think. And then in comes my son with a pile of dishes from his room and he throws them in the sink. That gets on my last nerve. <laughs> I love him and I'm grateful to have the dishes to do because you know, it means he's eating well and all that good jazz, but it can still get on my nerves, right? And kind of the same thing with laundry. I'll get laundry all caught up and then here we are, everybody's walking around the house and dirtying up more clothes and towels and, oh, but I am blessed though. So I, I can't say that I'm mad about it, but gosh, it can get on my nerves, right? Um, but one, one big thing, okay, I'm, I'm naming more than one thing. Um, one big thing that really, really, really gets on my nerves is rude people, okay? Let's just say that. Um, rude people get on my nerves so bad. Okay, next question, number four. Tell me something you can never find when you need it. I'm gonna go with a classic. Um, I'm just gonna leave her a little hair up. This is like one of my favorite hairdos on her. I am gonna give her a new hairdo uh, soon. I just haven't really had time to, but I love her little, little poof, her little poof ponytail. I love this so much, but she really needs, I need to comb her out and give her a, um, a new do, cause she's had this one for quite a while. Um, oh, I love this on her. Um, oh, let me get it untangled. All right, so anyway, so anyway, something I can never find when I need it. And this is a classic and a lot of people probably said this, okay? Um, but scissors, I swear my scissors, um, Oh, this is cute. I swear my scissors grow legs and walk away. I have places for my scissors. Like my scissors have designated spots and I still can never find them. Still can't find them. All right, let's pause with the questions for a minute and just admire my beautiful river rain. Say hello. I'm in my cozy jammies. Look at those. Oh, she looks adorable. 
I put this little uh, purple um, headband. I love these little headbands on her. And I really like this color of purple on her. She looks so pretty in it. All right, let's, let's come back up. All right, so my scissors, they tend to walk away from me. <laughs> oh, she wants her Sebastian back. Okay, so that was number four. And number five is, what is your favorite part of your daily routine? What is Penelope doing back there? Oh, she's taking a bath. Everybody excuse her. Um, favorite part of my daily routine. I think it's when I first wake up and um, I grab Minky. Minky always needs a love first thing in the morning. So I grab him, scoop him up in my arms and he puts his little paws around my necks and he rests his little head on my shoulder and like under my chin right here, snuggles in and I pet him for a little bit and I I hold him like that until he's ready, until he's done to be put down. And sometimes it's a long time. <laughs> I mean, not like an hour or anything, but sometimes it's a good good long time. He needs that morning snuggles. And then um, after I put him down, I make myself a cup of coffee and I just kind of sit down and drink my coffee and wake up for a few minutes. And I think that's one of my favorite parts of the day um, is doing that because it's just, um, it gets me started. And so I like it, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of the quiet part of the day. It's like one of the only really calm, quiet parts of the day because we have a busy life here and it gets, it gets quite hectic and busy around here. But all right, so that's it. That's all the answers. There were five questions. I answered them all. I loved them. I um, really, you know, I had to think about some and um, I enjoy doing them. So from me and from River, we thank you so much for coming by and sitting down and having this chat with us. You can answer those questions too if you want to on your own channel. If you have your own channel, make sure to tag Anne. Um, she has them all written out in her description box so you can go um, get them. And um, you can also, if you wanted to, if you don't have your own um, channel, I'm so sorry. Um, if you have an Instagram, you could answer them over there. Or you, if you want to put your answers down in the um, uh, comment section below, I would, I would love to hear your answers to the questions too. All right, guys. So we're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye to the little mermaid here. Yes, she's my, she's my little mermaid. I'm going to have to find her a little mermaid outfit. That would be so cute. Little tail. Oh, I could crochet her one maybe. Find a pattern and crochet her one. That would be cute. Or sew her one myself. Hey. <laughs> All right, anyway, thoughts going through my mind. <laughs> so we're gonna say goodbye. And she's gonna say, she loves to do the outro. She's gonna say, say, be nice, be gentle, be you. We'll see you next time, friends. Bye, bye. <laughs>